Hello and welcome to today's video. Do you enjoy starting your day with a cup of coffee, or tried a cup of coffee before? If so, this video is for you. Let's discover the truth behind coffee and why people love drinking coffee so much. Did you know that coffee is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world? According to the International Coffee Organization, over 2.25 million cups of coffee are consumed every day. As a morning ritual for millions of people, coffee has become more than just a simple drink. From the aroma to the taste, coffee can awaken our senses and energize our bodies. For many, it's the ritual of making and enjoying a warm cup of coffee in the morning that sets the tone for the rest of the day. Coffee shops have also become social hubs where people gather to catch up, work, or simply relax. Coffee has played a role in shaping cultures and communities around the world. For others, coffee is a source of comfort and nostalgia. The scent of freshly brewed coffee can evoke memories of childhood, family, and friends. It's not surprising that so many people associate coffee with positive emotion and feel a sense of comfort and familiarity when they drink it. Is drinking coffee good for you? Did you know that drinking coffee is good for us? The benefits of coffee go beyond just the caffeine content. Studies have shown that coffee can also boost metabolism, leading to increased fat burning. According to Frank Hu, chair of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard University T.H. Chan School of Public Health, for most people, moderate coffee consumption can be incorporated into a healthy diet. But what exactly is moderate coffee consumption? According to Dr. Hu, it's about 2 to 4 cups of coffee a day. So, what are the benefits of moderate coffee consumption? Well, studies have shown that it has anti-inflammatory properties. It's linked to a lower likelihood of several health conditions, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and liver cancer. Let's start with type 2 diabetes. According to a meta-analysis of 18 studies, published in a scientific journal, moderate coffee consumption was associated with a reduced risk of developing type 2 diabetes. The study found that each added cup of coffee consumed per day was associated with a 7% decrease in the risk of type 2 diabetes. Another study published likewise found that black coffee also has anti-inflammatory properties, which can help reduce inflammation in the body and protect against some chronic diseases. Coffee consumption has also been linked to a reduced risk of heart disease. Based on a scientific study, it was observed that moderate coffee consumption was associated with a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease. The study concluded that moderate coffee consumption had the greatest benefit. In addition to its effects on type 2 diabetes and heart disease, coffee has also been linked to a reduced risk of liver cancer. A study published in the BMC Gastroenterology found that coffee consumption was associated with a reduced risk of liver cancer. Before we continue, like this video if you drank a cup of coffee today or planning to do it later. Is coffee good for the brain? Let's discover the surprising truth about coffee and its impact on the brain. So, let's dive into the researches and find out exactly how coffee can benefit our brain. Caffeine works by blocking the action of adenosin, an organic chemical in the brain that makes you feel tired and sleepy. By blocking the action of adenosin, caffeine keeps you awake and alert. Studies have shown that caffeine can improve productivity and brain function, including memory, mood, alertness, and overall mental function. The latest scientific research published in the National Center for Biotechnology Information website has revealed some fascinating information about coffee and its impact on the brain. According to the research, lifelong coffee and caffeine consumption has been associated with the prevention of cognitive decline and a reduced risk of developing Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. In addition to caffeine, coffee also contains antioxidants. Antioxidants are essential in protecting our cells from damage caused by free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can cause damage to our cells and contribute to the development of diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. By consuming coffee, we are giving our body a source of antioxidants that can help protect our brain and reduce the risk of developing these diseases. Finally, coffee has also been linked to a reduced risk of depression. It was found that coffee consumption was associated with a decreased risk of depression. While more research is needed to fully understand the relationship between coffee and brain health, the scientific studies suggest that coffee has the potential to benefit our brain in several ways. By consuming coffee in moderation, we can give our brain the potential benefits it needs to perform at its best. When to drink coffee? Do you want to know when the best time is to drink coffee? Well, you're in luck. According to science, the best time to drink coffee is in the 2-4 to four hour window after waking up. We've all been there. You wake up feeling groggy and reach for that first cup of coffee to give you the energy boost you need to start your day. But did you know that drinking coffee right after waking up may not be the best idea? Caffeine is a potent stimulant. It increases your focus and alertness, but it does so by temporarily blocking the neurotransmitter adenosin, which is responsible for calming the brain. By blocking adenosin responsible for making us feel tired, caffeine stimulates the release of other neurotransmitters such as dopamine and norepinephrine. If you drink coffee in the first hour of waking up, when cortisol, the hormone responsible for energy, is at its peak, you might not get the full benefit of the caffeine. 
In fact, drinking coffee during this time can make you feel jittery and anxious. So what should you do? The answer is simple. Wait a few hours until cortisol levels have dropped and adenosine levels have started to rise. This way, you'll be able to reap the full benefits of caffeine and feel more energized and focused. But how exactly does cortisol and adenosine affect our ability to benefit from caffeine? Cortisol is a hormone produced by the adrenal gland and is responsible for regulating our body's stress response. It's often referred to as the stress hormone and is highest in the morning, shortly after waking up. On the other hand, adenosine is an organic compound that accumulates in the brain throughout the day, making us feel tired and sleepy. When you drink coffee, the caffeine prevents adenosine from making you feel tired. However, if you drink coffee during the peak of cortisol production, you're essentially throwing gasoline on an already blazing fire. The cortisol and caffeine together can cause anxiety and jitteriness, making it harder for you to focus and feel energized. But when cortisol levels have decreased and adenosine levels have started to rise, that's when the real magic happens. The caffeine will work in tandem with the natural process of adenosine accumulation, giving you the energy boost you need without the jitters. So, there you have it. If you want to get the most out of your morning coffee, wait a few hours after waking up to enjoy it. This way, you'll be able to enjoy the energizing effects of caffeine without the negative side effects. What is the healthiest way to drink coffee? Did you know that the way you drink your coffee can have a significant impact on your health? So, what's the healthiest way to drink coffee? Sean Hashmi, MD, Physician and Regional Director of Weight Management and Clinical Nutrition for Kaiser Permanent Southern California, suggests drinking coffee black. Drinking coffee black means consuming it without any added sugar, cream, or other ingredients. This is the healthiest way to drink coffee. One cup of black coffee has virtually no calories, no carbs, no fat, and is low in sodium. Adding cream and sugar to your coffee can quickly turn it into a high-calorie, high-fat, and high-sugar beverage. It will increase the calorie content and decrease the health benefits of your coffee. Drinking black coffee means that you can reap the maximum health benefits from your coffee without worrying about the added calories and sugar. So, if you want to keep your coffee healthy, stick to drinking it black. And if you need to add a little bit of flavor, consider adding almond milk instead. When it comes to the benefits of coffee, the way it is consumed, and the type of coffee can make a big difference. It is also recommended to drink freshly brewed coffee. Instant coffee typically contains less caffeine and antioxidants compared to freshly brewed coffee. While black coffee is the healthiest option, there are other types of coffee that can also offer some health benefits. For example, cold brew coffee has been shown to have lower levels of acidity, making it a great option for people who suffer from acid reflux. Coffee made with freshly ground beans contains more antioxidants than pre-ground coffee, making it a great option for those who want to maximize the health benefits of their coffee. Before we continue, what is your favorite coffee flavor? Share your favorite coffee drinks in the comments below. To make your coffee even healthier, consider using high-quality, organic coffee beans. Conventional coffee beans are often treated with pesticides and other chemicals, which can negatively impact your health. By choosing organic coffee, you can ensure that your coffee is free from harmful chemicals and contains higher levels of antioxidants. It's important to keep in mind that too much caffeine can have negative side effects, such as increased heart rate, jitters, and sleep disturbances. Therefore, it's recommended to limit your caffeine intake to no more than 400 mg per day, which is approximately 2 to 4 cups of coffee. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you want to stay up to date with all our latest content, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we post new videos and be a part of our community. Your support means the world to us and helps us create even better content for you. So, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and join the fun. Until next time, stay curious.